Wondering about the differences between using a Barlow or using a Focal Reducer in Deep Sky objects? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video using my powerful 12 inch of sun and telescope over an equatorial platform connected to my laptop and doing EAA electronically assisted astronomy and pointing it towards the beautiful Whirlpool Galaxy which is known as Messier 51 and lies at Canis Venatici constellation. And I just had to place my 12 inch Dobsonian over the equatorial platform to prepare that night. And when it was dark, I opened sharp cap as usual and started the live stacking with 8 second exposures using my focal reducer, a cheaper one, links at the description. The field of view gets larger with the focal reducer and that's why the object was so small but with the technique I have using the region of interest in sharp cap we can turn the field of view smaller and the object larger as you are watching here. The focal reducer also lower the focal length of the telescope turning it into a faster telescope. Stay until the end of the video to know more about it and by the opposite, the Barlow increases the focal length of the telescope. That's very useful for bright, small and near objects like planets. But what happens if I use a Barlow in the same object with the same setup? I did that and let's go straight to the comparison between those images. As you can see, the image that I got using a Barlow in this galaxy it's really large but not so bright, sharp and defined as the one using the focal reducer. Even being a cheap one, because when I use an expensive one, which is the Starizona Nexus that I got from AstroArt, our astronomical partner, the images get even better in all the field of view. Click on this video to know more about the Sterizona Nexus and the powerful technique I use to turn the Dobsonian telescope into a faster telescope.